Hello, and welcome to Nearmap. As an administrator for your Nearmap account, you can manage your team, view your subscription details, and access your Nearmap apps, all through my account. Today, I'll take you through a quick tour. You'll learn the basics, including the My Account dashboard, managing your team and user permissions, setting up Nearmap services, and general account management. Let's get started. You can easily access my account from nearmap.com. Just click on the login button and enter your username and password. If you're already logged into Map Browser, you can also click on the My Account option in the menu. First up, let's take a quick tour of the dashboard. The dashboard is where you'll see important notifications, find links to useful resources, and access applications like Map Browser. If you have a Nearmap on Open Solar subscription, you'll also find a link here. The profile menu is where you can update your details, change your email address, or change your password. You can also view and manage your location watch list. Let's take a look at the account tab. The account tab is where you can manage your team, view usage, and see the details of your Nearmap subscription. First up, managing your team. You can easily invite and manage team access to Nearmap through the Users tab. To invite new team members, click on the Invite Users button and add the email address for each team member you want to invite. You can also set user permissions and roles at the time that you send the invitation. If you're inviting lots of team members, you can copy and paste a list of up to 100 emails at a time. Just make sure email addresses are separated by a comma or a semicolon. Let's take a look at assigning permissions to existing team members. Make other people in your team administrators by editing their subscription and selecting the admin checkbox. And if your subscription includes products like 3D or AI export, you can also control which team members have access. As the admin, only you will be able to access when your account is first set up, so remember to enable this for your team as needed. If you want to update permissions in bulk, just select each user and click the Edit button. You can learn more about inviting and managing your team in the Knowledge Hub. Next up, viewing account usage. You can view the total usage for your subscription and see a breakdown for each team member. You can also see up to 12 months of usage history. And you can download a detailed view per user by clicking on the download icon. Your subscription details are also available in the subscriptions tab. This provides a summary of your current subscription inclusions, add-ons and your contract dates. If you're the billing contact for your account, you can also view and update your credit card payment details. If you wish to make further changes, to your billing contact or your payment method, you'll need to get in touch with your new MAP representative. Let's take a look at the integrations tab. Some new MAP content can also be used in third-party apps like ArcGIS and Autodesk. If you're planning to integrate new MAP imagery into a third-party app using an API or WMS connection, you'll need an API application and an API key. As an administrator, you'll first need to create an API app so that you or your team members can generate an API key. The API key is then used to authenticate your third-party app with Nearmap's API services. You can learn more about integrations and API keys on the Knowledge Hub. Next up, let's take a look at support. There are a few ways to get help and support. The support tab provides handy links to the Knowledge Hub as well as some frequently asked questions. If you do need further assistance, you can also get in touch with our support team by completing the form. Remember to provide as much detail as possible so that our team can quickly help resolve your problem. Remember, detailed and online help is always available 24 by seven on the Knowledge Hub. Thanks and happy mapping.